What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. The models continue to call for some more tropical development in the main development region. We have several tropical waves going on that is starting to moisten up the atmosphere in the MDR. And we'll go ahead and show you the moisture forecast in a little bit. But before we get to that, we need to get to these model runs first. The European, the CMC, the ICON, and now the GFS are all calling for potential tropical development in the main development region starting in the next few days. So here's what we have going on right here. For the Europeans, starting about three to four days out, we have a tropical wave, a powerful tropical wave that is, coming off the coast of Africa over here and starting to organize and develop, it starts to strengthen a little bit, potentially up to tropical depression strength as it moves through the main development region. There's still going to be some shear and a little bit of dry air for it to fight, according to the European. However, from what I've been looking, uh, from what I've been looking at, it does look like they're still calling for development, and the probability is still there. And based off of the latest graph from the European, we still have a 50 plus percent chance of development in the main development region in around the second to third week of August. So that's what we have going on on that front right there, according to the European. And if we're going to go, we're just going to go ahead and show you the GFS run to kind of show you that one as well. We'll get to the CMC and the ICON in just a second. Uh, GFS is also having this, has this tropical wave coming off in three to four days. It starts to organize and potentially develop up to a tropical depression. It's registering on the GFS. However, it's, we're not 100% sure what it's going to do, if it's, gonna, if it's a closed pressure system or not. At least the GFS isn't sure. So it basically has that going on right there. So it's definitely something to keep an eye on. Next one we're going to go ahead and show you is the CMC run. And the CMC run has this thing coming off the coast of Africa, starts to organize and potentially develop as it gets down the road right here. So that's what we have going on right here. And the CMC is also calling for other tropical systems to start developing in about the next week or so. So that's what we have going on right here. Here's that area of interest right there. So depending on how moist the air is, because the wind shear at around that time is going to start weakening. So depending on how moist the air is and depending how much Sahara dust there is, will depend on what will happen in the main development region. Next thing we're going to go ahead and show you is the Icon run. And the Icon actually has this thing potentially developing right here. About three to four days out, it comes off the coast of Africa. And then it starts to organize pretty quickly, actually. And it has this thing potentially developing. It as it, This is about seven days out uh, from the latest Icon run. And we already have a pretty decent-sized tropical depression right here. So that's what we have going on across all of these runs right here. We're seeing more and more of these operational models calling for tropical development. And it looks to me that the hurricane season is about to start ramping up in the next week or so. So we're going to go ahead and show you what's working for and against any potential development we have going on. So here's what we, is easily working for it once again. Much hotter than average global sea temperatures. A lot of areas have 28 plus degrees Celsius or 82 plus degree Fahrenheit from the main development region all the way to the Caribbean, all the way through much of the Atlantic right here. The 30 plus degree Celsius or the 86 plus degree Fahrenheit goes through pretty much all the Gulf of Mexico, the northwestern part of the Caribbean Sea, the parts of the western Atlantic basin over here, and even parts of the main development region and the eastern Caribbean are starting to register very warm 30 degree Celsius temperatures right here. So this is definitely something we need to keep keep an eye on as these waters are much warmer than average and something we absolutely have to pay attention to as we go into the next hurricane season. So next what we have are going to show you is the ocean heat content. Ocean heat content has been absolutely insane across the Atlantic. The Caribbean has its own thing. We've been talking about this verbatim, but I want to go ahead and focus more today about the Atlantic since that's where this potential area of interest is developing. If we take a look at this part of the MDR, we're seeing areas of registering 150 OHC near South America over here, but typically where this tropical wave is going, it's going to be around 50 to 75 to even 100 in some of these areas, 100 ocean heat content value right there, which that's a lot of fuel, especially for that part of the Atlantic ocean right there ladies and gentlemen so this is definitely something we need to monitor going forward folks and now we're going to go ahead and show you the shear and the shear has continued to fluctuate across much of the western atlantic right here we're going to go ahead and show you the eastern atlantic as well and as you can see, the shear continues to fluctuate. It has been on a bit of a downward trend as of the last couple of days. So it shouldn't have too much trouble developing if the moist, moist air gets 
pretty much its act together right there. And now with the sh- and with the shear across the Caribbean, across the Gulf, across much of the Atlantic, now we're going to go ahead and show you the shear and moisture forecast right here. The shear forecast according to the European system right here. The shear in the next three days actually does continue to fluctuate, although across the main development region, it weakens considerably. Over here, same in the Gulf and parts of the Caribbean. We do have a bit of a ridge and a low pressure system going on in the Eastern Caribbean and Western Maine Development Region, but that is expected to move through right there. And pretty much by day five, the MDR and the Atlantic Basin pretty much are pretty comfortable without shear right here. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the kind of the moisture forecast to kind of see cross check this. And as you can see, there is still some Sahara dust that's going to be in the Atlantic. However, it's not nearly as much as what we were seeing like back in June, back in July. So that's what we have going on. A lot of the Sahara dust is now starting to get pushed up to Europe. We're starting to see more low pressure systems start to bring that rain and those uh, kind of nor'easter-ish systems from North America pushing that up to Europe. So that's definitely going to increase the moisture. And as we continue to see more and more of these tropical waves come off of Africa right here, it's going to start moistening up parts of the Atlantic, parts of the Caribbean, parts of the Gulf over here. It's still going to be a little bit of a challenge for tropical systems to develop for the time being. However, after August 20th, things that are going to really start ramping up, and that's what we're going to go ahead and, uh, go ahead and see going forth. We're going to go ahead and go back to the wind shear. We do see continued fluctuations of wind shear. We're going to see this through the rest of hurricane season. But for now, it's off and on, off and on, off and on. And if we go ahead and show you the GFS and kind of give you a more extended outlook into the humidity right here. And as you can see, much, across much of the western Atlantic Ocean over here, it really moistened, uh, moistens up in this area right here. And that's a pr- bit of a concern for me, especially going forward, especially going into August 20th, which is where it is right here. This is potentially going to have good conditions for tropical development right here and then by the time we get 16 days out much the a lot more of the atlantic gets more uh, gets moist right here so this is something to watch right here now we're going to go ahead and show you some ensemble runs we're going to show you the european and the gfs ensembles the f- main focus is that tropical wave and one other that's coming off the coast of africa in the next few days or so and then we have this tropical wave according to the european we have still a lot of scenarios of tropical development of tropical storm to hurricane strength right here here, this is what where this wave is uh, potentially going to develop. Now, the ensemble model uh, ensemble runs we have right here, they are not as expansive as they were in, in days past. However, we still have a lot of potential ensembles. They're still calling for potential development and potential hurricane st- uh, strength scenarios as we go into August, uh, late, uh, late August, right here. We'll go ahead and show you the GFS right here, the GFS ensemble going into this. And the GFS is kind of doing the same thing. However, it's not nearly as many ensemble runs as the European is calling, which is pretty interesting going forward. So that's definitely something to pay attention to. They're calling for more of a tropical storm to minimal hurricane scenario right here. So definitely something to pay attention to. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the GPS ensembles. And the GPS is kind of the middle of everything. The GPS does have these tropical uh, development scenarios going on with potential tropical storm, hurricane strength, uh, potential systems going on right here. However, for the time uh, for the time being, it's mainly the European that's the most dominant of them so far, and we'll have to continue to monitor the models and pay attention to your local weather forecasts, and we'll continue to update you here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. We're going to go ahead and close the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather, but with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.